Alrighty guys, thanks for joining me. This is your host, ID Jester. Welcome back to Tiger Leader. So I'm doing this really late here because I want to try and give all my friends out there a... I'm going to try and give you an episode of Tiger Leader without it dropping packets. Seems like I'm only dropping packets during peak time between about 5 and 8 o'clock in the afternoon, or in the evening. So I'm going to try and give you this. So I, I apologize for all of the delay and the videos. And hopefully, hopefully this one won't have issues. I can't promise. But I'm, I'm really hoping to give all the Tiger Leader players and fans out there at least one good video in this series where you don't have to put up with the crappy internet. So I apologize for that. So. We're doing the three-week campaign, France of 1940 here. This is the start of the third week. So let's let's uh, kind of go over what we got going on here. So you see we've had some uh, deaths, some replacements, some issues going on. We've got some leaders with some, uh, some stress there. And where do we stand victory point-wise? So... We've destroyed 3A, 4A, 12A, 10A, and 4C. Those victory points are 2, 3, 2, 2, 2, which is 11 points. So we've going into week 3, we have 11 points of uh, victory points. If we look at our card here, which isn't here, it is over here underneath where I just put this stuff, I think. Where do they do with it? Maybe it's just, maybe they're up here. All right, so let's look at what what we're looking at at the last week here. So no, these are the units we have left. What did I do? <laughs> really? Come on. Oh, maybe it's this over here. Yeah. So here's where we're at. <sighs> For the Reich. So you can see there, the only way we can get a great score on this is if we go 18 points. We're sitting at 11, so we're going to be adequate one way or the other. If we get a couple more kills, we'll go to good, and 18 would be great, which means we need 7 points in the last week, if, if there's any hope for us to get that. So, here are the units we have left. We have the artillery unit. It's worth 2, which isn't going to do much. Outpost, which is two, not going to do much. Armored Headquarter with four. So that's promising. We got a Heavy Weapons Team worth three. And then we got the Infantry Support, which is also worth three. So the only, op the only way we're going to get enough points is to kill off two, two battalions. A four-pointer and a three-pointer. So two of these three need to die. So what we're going to do is we're going to go after up on the front line. The German front line has got 11A, which is infantry support. So that's this card here. Plus one on all tactical move rolls. So it's got two half tracks, four rifles, four AT and four AT guns. All right. Here's the problem. <laughs> We haven't really talked about the issue yet. So the problem is we only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We only have 9 units left. We've had a couple units destroyed. A couple leaders got destroyed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is that correct? Is that what I'm counting? Let me just double check my math here. 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so we only have nine units. Yeah, we only have nine units. That's what I thought. So we have nine units. If we go into two battles, it gives us a four and a five. If we have three battles, right, if we, if we try to take on three different uh, enemy units, like we did in week number two, 
Problem with that is we're only going to have enough points for, or we're only going to be able to take in three units, three, three, and three. So three versus ten, three versus four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, and three versus six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I don't see that happening. So we're going to try and just we're going to try and kill off one of the threes. And then either maybe a two or four or another three. I, I don't know if we're going to make our 18-pointer. It's just, it's hard. It's going to be hard. So, <clears throat> with that said, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in uh, Meyer here. And Meyer's going to be running our... No, wait. Nope, nope, nope. Grab the wrong group. Sorry. <laughs> Once again, over here, we're going to do, we're going to use one of our favorite commanders, Veldman here. Veldman, Veldman, Veldman. He's only average, but plus one for us. He's got five. So Veldman is actually got zero stress on him as well. So that's a good start. We're going to take in our unarmored Student Camp 251 with Frederick here. And he starts with two um, stress. Let's just dump some of these out here. All right. Just dump them out. There we go. So he's going to start with two stress. All right. Then we're going to use. Let's get this out of the way. Um, Ackerman and that's one, two, three. We need one more. Who are we going to bring? It's going to be so it's going to be uh, we want two infantry an armored car or um, yeah, armored car and one other thing. I guess we should bring in one tank just in case. All right. So our units are going to be... Our units are going to be the Stug 3. A machine gun, which we're going to give to Veldman. A rifle team, which we're going to give to Ackerman. And then, of course, we have our Stug Cop 251. Let's just double check this. Ackerman. Uh, right. Ackerman's got. F right. Right. That's the problem with Ackerman. He's got four stress already on him. Which means. He shouldn't be going anywhere. Which means we're down another leader. <laughs> right. I knew there was an issue with all this. Uh, let's see what Fetter. How's Fetter doing? Fender has one stress. Meyer gained two stress. So you can see all of our stress. And Veldman is at one, two. So Weldman's at two as well. So stress starting to become an issue with our leaders here. All righty. So that's what we're going to do. The rest of these guys can go away. And even if we can't, even if we can't kill all the units, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can uh, at least get ha half a battalion destroyed or something like that. So, all right. So we need some units here, don't we? Get this out of the way. So we need a rifle team. We need a Stug. We need our armored car. And we need a machine gun team. All right. So, 922, that's this guy. 902, is this guy. Uh, 025, is this guy. And... 1011 is that guy. All right. So there we go. 
it's going to be hard enough as it is. All the stress on our guys. We keep getting stress. All right. So let's shuffle this up so far. I know I'm going to curse myself by saying this, but so far, so good. We haven't had any of the, I'm not even going to say it, but we haven't had any of the bad things happen yet. Whatever those things happen to be. All right, so we're just going to shuffle these up, rotate them around, just kind of throw them on the table. All right, and we'll roll a six-sided dice to see which one's on top. Two. Number one, number two. So two goes on top. And then we're going to flip it over. Put them out. One. Two. It's got a little bit of cover. Ooh, big cover right in the middle. Mm, that's, mm, ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. All right. Our side is a little open. This is... This is definitely going to give the advantage to the enemies here. All right. They've got coming. Two half track, four rifles, two AT and two AT guns. Hmm. All right, we're going to put our machine gun there, which is this. Machine gunner is going to go there. A rifle squad is also going to go in there. Rifle squad. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Then we need. Oh, gosh. Oh, here it is. Put that there. That is unit this one. And last but not least, our Stug. I'll bring that and put him in there as well. So at least we got a little bit of cover. Now, all right. So now we'll roll for the enemies. So half track. One. Half track. Zero. That's there. Uncover the little things so I can see. All right, now we got a rifle. Rifle. Six, rifle, nine, rifle, two, rifle, five, AT gun, six, AT gun, seven, oops, seven, both AT guys are in the same spot. It's interesting. Seriously, why do you want to keep moving on me like that? All right, and then AT. Uh, so these are AT units. Now the AT gun. Five. And eight. So they definitely have a front line for sure. Okay. Now, the rifles, uh, let's see here, hang on a second, let's see what it says again. So after placing machine gun teams and anti-tank teams, each of them, each of, issue each of them an advance one order. So the AT are going to go here, and we will go here. The rifle squad will go there and here. A rifle squad issue each of them an advance two order. So they're going to move right up adjacent to us. That's crazy. <sighs> All right. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Oops. Didn't mean to click that. Sorry. All right, so now we got to get out a few units to make it a little easier for you guys to see. 
So 18, I'll put that there. So, so we show you what this. So we'll put that out there. Right. And do I have another one? No. Oh, I got a whole bunch. Put that out there. All right, now I need the bazooka guys. There's a bazooka guy. Oh, that's a rifle squad. Hang on. Where is the AT gun? Oh, wait. The AT gun is back here. And back here. Sorry. Now, the AT, that's a bazooka guy there. There's one. Bazooka guy there. Rifle squad now. All right. So the German or the um, French are going to have their pistol or rifles at their sides. Right there, right there. Mm, right here. That's one, two, three. Oh, there's the other one. Right there. And so he should have been issued in advance, in advance. So he'll be up here, actually. And then this guy will get an advance and then advance order. Oh, good Lord. Here we go. So they are like honest. Now we need two half tracks. So we will use these for the half tracks, I guess. Put that out there. Put that out there. And I think... Hopefully, that'll be everything. So probably only need to have one more mission after this. So, again, I apologize for having all of the issues we've had throughout this playthrough. I mean, I know I, I understand it makes it very frustrating to watch when every few seconds the video gives out. Right now, we're running bit rate of over 4,000 kilobytes per second zero drop packets so uh, knock on wood and uh, hope that we can continue all right so oh yes we need two things first of all <laughs> first of all we have a beginning of the week event which we should have done stuka dive bombers at the start of the first turn of each battle you may pay one so point to destroy two random enemy forces okay We've got, uh, so Stukas are going to come in and help us here. Well, that's going to make things a little inter interesting. So we actually ended up with, let's see, uh, get this damn camera cord out of my way. All right, so hopefully it'll stop wiggle, wiggle worming. All right, so we had one point. We gained six points. From the end of the week cycle. Then we spent. Oh, right, right, right. We didn't spend any of those yet. So we have six points. No, wait. We had. Casualty, which lost a point. A wound, which lost a point. So I think we lost two points to our uh, getting rid of our casualty and our wounded leader. So that would cost us two points. So that dropped us to five points remaining. And then... Right, we didn't upgrade anything. So we have five points. So we can spend an SO point. So we're going to start this battle with five points, actually, not seven. And then we're going to spend a point. So minus one. We'll put that down there now. Okay. So we got, let's see what we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that worked out well, didn't it? So we get to blow up two random units. 
three, one, two, three. So there's rifle squad, boom, and three, one, two, three, AT gun. All right, so those two units get destroyed from our Stuka. Now, we also have a pre-battle thing we have to worry about. Let's worry about that now. Rubble and Ruins. Infantry commanders suffer one extra stress when moving and attacking, including aggressive commanders. So one extra stress to move and attack. Ugh. All right, so probably won't be doing much of that. All right. So let's see. We have slow, we have slow, we have slow, we have slow, we have slow. So we have total slow. So let's, uh, first thing we need to do is roll on our little, these are all the destroyed battalions. We did a pretty good job of destroying battalions. Wait, that can't be, but we only just, no, wait a minute. I don't know. These aren't the destroyed ones. I know that. I think I mixed, I think I mixed them all back up again. All right, so France. 1940 here. So 1 to 7, it'll be a D6. 8 to 10, it'll be a 10-sided dice. It's a 3, so we're going to be using a 6-sided dice. But uh, this battalion card, specifically, this battalion card says, what is this one? 11A, right? Uh, plus 1 on tactical rolls. So look at a plus 1. We'll just leave that right there. So let's see what they end up doing here. <clears throat> Four plus one is five. All righty. So start down here at the bottom with rifles. So advance to cover star. Rifles will treat that as AP, but they're not adjacent to a, um, a vehicle. So the rifle squad is actually going to move in and shoot. Now... So, he's going to need sixes, um, but he has a moving penalty, but he's in the same hex, so they kind of cancel one and out, one another out. So, he gets a six or higher. And he got a hit. So one hit. And I did not block it. And here we go into the bag of doom. Alrighty. And uh, I didn't say who they were attacking, actually. Not that it matters, because they have both have the same defense of two. Uh, so in this case, uh, we'll say even is the machine gun team. Although, as a solo player or solitaire player, you can choose it. I just think it's better to roll it randomly. So we'll say even is the machine gun team. So they're going after... Um, oops, these two guys are switched. So they're going after the rifle squad. All right, so let's see what happens with the rifle squad. Oop, one fell out, so we'll take that one, I guess. Uh, so they mobilized our rifle squad. All right, this rifle team will also move in. And again, uh, even will be the machine gun team. Odds, they're going to shoot at the rifle team. Sixes are higher. Well, they got a hit and just one hit. So one hit on us. So we will roll. Come on, let's see if we can get a defense here, please. No, of course not. So rifle squad. Uh, oh, they are exposed as well. That's not good. Okay. Rifle. Advance to cover... 
I'm going to actually double check that one again because that's a tricky one actually. Hmm. I'm actually going to look at the new Sherman Leader rule book. Even though we're playing Tiger Leader, this has got the more up-to-date rules on it. Okay, uh, what are we looking for, right? We're looking for advancing to cover. I don't think I don't think they'll advance, but I just want to make sure. That's all. Just want to make sure. And I'm knocking guys over here. All right, advance, AP advance, advance to cover. Move the enemy unit to an adjacent hex that is both one hex closer to the front of the unit and has cover. If none of the adjacent hexes have cover, the unit does not move. Right, okay. So, he would advance to cover if there was cover there. There's no cover, so he's not going to advance. AT, cautious advancer. Cautious advancer is um, only move the enemy unit into an adjacent hex if that hex is one hex closer to the closest from the unit. If the enemy cannot be attacked <coughs> in the new hex, so if he moves in here, these guys could shoot him because they would be adjacent, so he won't advance. AT gun. AT gun. Oh, I'm sorry. A These are AT. ATs. Ugh. AT and AT gun. They should have named them different. All right. So the, I'm sorry. Let's go back to AT. AT is different. Advance if cannot attack. Yes. He must advance because he cannot attack. So he will move up. Then he will shoot. And he will take a minus one penalty. For moving and shooting. So he needs 8 minus our plus 1. We'll take it to 9. So he's going to need 9 or higher. If he hits, uh, we'll, we'll determine who he hits then. He rolled a 6 and 2. So he missed. Bad him. All right. The rifle squad, again, advanced to cover. There's no cover. He won't advance. AT gun, cautious advancer. So, he will actually move up because he cannot be attacked. These guys can't hit him. These can't hit him. And this has a range of 1 to 2. 1, 2. So, he can't hit him either. Uh, this AT gun will move up. Oh, and actually, these AT guns have a range of 3, which is super bad. So this guy, one, two, three, will shoot at this, the 251. He'll shoot at the 251 because it only has a defense of one. So uh, can he shoot and fire, actually? Hang on a second. I don't think they can move and attack. That makes total sense that they wouldn't be able to move and attack being an AT gun. Pretty sure they can't move and attack. Pretty darn sure. I remember reading that. I remember seeing it. I do. Now I'm questioning my own sanity. <laughs> All right. Uh, does it doesn't have anything on the little counter though, so that's why I'm a little hesitant about AT guns. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to double check because now I'm a little thinky. I'm a little thinky.
Okay. Well, I'm assuming they can attack. I know our unit, uh, if we look at... Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, see, if we look at our AT gun, it does say on and right on. It cannot move and attack. Hmm. I believe that would make sense, but does it have it in the rules is another question. It just, it just talks about enemy units kind of in general. It doesn't go into details about each individual unit, which is kind of a bummer. Counters represent blah blah blah. HP and HE value. Attack. Uh, point value. Mortar units. Indirect fire value. Maximum number of hexes a unit can attack. Um. Right, okay, so right here. <laughs> yeah, I knew I read it somewhere. So yeah, under truck, mortar, AT gun, it says penalty for moving and firing. Can't. Duh. There you go. So they can't. So yeah, they can move up, but they can't attack. That makes sense, right? We all got that. All right, so let's put that right on there. We'll put that right on there. All right, so they move up. Half track. Half track, advance to cover. He can advance and go in cover. He can not advance because there's no cover there, so he would not advance. And there you go. That is the enemy's turn. Um, now it's our turn. All right. So our... our um, unit, which is the rifle squad, needs sixes, but he gets a plus two penalty, because he's attacking in the same hex. Uh, yes, yeah, so here's the interesting thing. So we ran into this question the other day, right? Because in the Tiger Leader Upgrade Kit, it actually says... <sighs> Units gain a die roll bonus equal to the normal move and attack penalty when attacking at range 0. So, for example, a rifle unit gains plus 2 when attacking at range 0. A tank gains plus 1 when attacking at range 0. Okay, so that clears that up, but um, okay, so that clears up the that, but the only thing is it. Um, So, uh, in defending, it says, do not subtract the target's defense from the attack roll. Instead, if one or more attack rolls is successful, roll a die for the target's defense for each successful attack. If you roll tar target's defense value or lower, the target was able to negate the attack. Add one to the target's defense value if the light cover, and add two if the target's defensive value is in heavy cover. It does not mention anything about being in the same hex as the enemy and losing your, uh, you don't apply the bonus. Now, if we go to the Sherman leader, right, 
it's actually says it actually is a little bit different, which is throwing me for a loop, right? Of course it would. Why wouldn't it be? Why couldn't anything ever be exactly what I would like it to say? All right, so. Ah. So, attacking units, right, so. In Sherman Leader, it says, uh, all right, so add or subtract your commander skill. Subtract one for each die roll when attacking at range two. Subtract two when attacking at range three. Subtract three when attacking at range four. Each unit also has an attack panel to, to its die roll if it moved during the step. After determining the number of potential hits scored from attack, roll for an enemy's defense. Roll one for each potential hit. The hit negates the attack roll if it's equal to or less than the target's defense. It does not mention anything in here about range zero. And it also says somewhere in here that when a unit attacks at range zero, you do not apply the cover bonus. So it's a little bit different Maybe, you know, maybe they're trying to do a little bit different between East Front and, and West Front, maybe. I, I don't know why they would not have the same rules. But anyway, so we're going to go with, we're going to go with this. Um, so you're going to gain your attack bonus equal to your normal attack and move penalty when attacking at range zero. And then... Um, we will add the defending target defense. All right. All right. So again, a rifle squad here. They're going to shoot at this. Uh, let's see. There's a three and a two. So we're going to go with the. We're going to go after the. The good guy first, the rifle squad, right off the bat, the three rifle squad. See if we can take him out first. All right, come on. So again, our rifle squad, uh, all the way back to what we were talking about. So, HE attack of six. He gets a plus two or a mi uh, minus two. Oh, he gets to add two to the dice for uh, being in the same hex. So it takes it to a four. And then Fetter is a plus one. So another, so add three to the dice roll. So he takes it from a seven, I'm sorry, from a six to a three. So one to three will be hits. I'm sorry, three or higher will be hits. That's what I meant to say. A nine to zero, it really didn't matter. So that's two hits. Now, he has a defense of three. And then plus two for the heavy wood. So one to five, he can block both of these. Eight and a nine. Wow, he did not block either one of those. So rifle squad is gone. Good shot. And now our machine gun team is going to go after the other guy. Machine gunners are HE attack of two. He gets a plus two to the dice for not for attacking the unit that's in his same hex. A plus one from the leader, so basically one or higher is going to hit. And that's two hits. The enemy is only a two defense, so this time he needs one to four to block hits. He needs to block both of them, or he's going to be dead. Six and a zero. Boy, I'm on a, a lot of high ones. So another rifle squad gets wiped out. And now it's up to us. So we got an issue here. We got some AT guns that are going to be a problem. <sighs> this cannot shoot. Uh, this oh these are all red so H E H E H E H E this is black over there 
Uh, our Stu can only shoot a range 1 to 2, so I guess he'll move up. Alright, so he's shooting H E. I'm sorry, AP. He's going to try and take out this half track. So AP attack of 8. Minus 2 for moving takes it to a 10. Plus 1 for a leader takes it back down to a 9. So he needs... He needs a 9 or 10 to hit. No stress for moving, though, so that's... Or for moving and firing. Nope, he missed. Oops. And now... Uh, this guy is going to move up. And he will shoot at this AT gun. He better hit. That's all I can say. So five. He moves. So it takes him up to a seven. Leader gives him no bonus. So one to seven. Or, I'm sorry. Seven or higher will be eight. Oh, we got a zero. So that's one. So he has got a one. So he needs a one to block it. Otherwise, we get him. We got him. Excellent. Whew. That was risky, because if he wouldn't have died... Oh, that was turn number five, by the way. All right. Uh, so that is all of our slow units. We go down to roll number four. We're going to roll for them again. We get to add one to their tactical roll. That's going to take it to a six. So exact same thing they were just doing. Alright, so let's start here. AT gun. Cautious advancer. Nope, they won't advance. He's going to shoot. This guy's going to shoot at him. He needs fives plus one because it's at range two. So he needs sixes. Sixes are higher for that AT gun. Ooh, we got one hit. One hit. And our 251 is a defensive one. This is going to get ugly. Oh, two. Damn. All right. Well, we got to reach in the bag of death. Hall hit. Oh, boy. Hall hit. What does our hall hit say about this? Hall. Uh, okay, so it has no game effect, but if he gets another one, it would mean destroyed. So he has a hall effect on him, and if he gets another one, he will be destroyed. Okay. The other AT gun, he's going to do the same thing. Shoot at this guy. He needs fives. Plus one because of the range, so he needs sixes. He can get at, go after the Stug, but the Stug has a defense of two. So they normally go, f if they have options, they normally go for the squishier one. So we're going to go after this guy again. Five and a zero, so we got a hit. So we need a one and only a one again. Nope. Oh boy, here we go. This could be it for our poor half track. Oh, one fell out, so we'll just take that one. It is suppression and a stress. Okay. So Friedrich. Friedrich didn't have any stress on him. Let's just double check that. Friedrich. Friedrich. Oh, he had two stress on him. Oh, okay. So now he's up to three stress. Excuse me. Good lord. What kind of... Hmm. So, three stress. Alright. So, three's okay. He can go up to six before he's become shaken. So, he's halfway there. So, we got him up to three stress. And a suspension, which means... Cannot move or enter battle. Oh, no. That's... Wait, suspend, uh, says, yeah, okay, suspension, yeah, okay, cannot move. Okay, well, he's, 
Guess he's going to be stuck back here. Oh, boy. All right, so rifle squad. Rifle. Advance to cover. No cover, so he won't advance. He's only got a range of one, so he's out of range, so he won't go anywhere. Half track. Advance to cover. No. He's only got a range of one, and he can't hit this guy anyways. So he's not going to go anywhere, and uh, he can't go anywhere. So that's their turn. Now it goes to us. So we got to get these guys up here and do some damage to these AT guns. Rifle squad. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is really bad. Uh, because remember our little thing over here which says... Uh, infantry commanders suffer one extra stress from moving and attacking, right? But Fetter is also cautious, so he can't he can't even do that. Uh, this guy will move over here as well, which means he. Oh, wait a minute, he's. A mobile. What is a mobile? Right. Um, uh, bum, 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 bum. Suffer one stress or cannot move on his next action. Right. Okay, so he will not move. He will get rid of his mobile and expose plus two to be hit starting next turn until the unit moves. Oh, okay. Well, that's a great combo. He's immobilized, or he can take a stress and move. He's also exposed, which means he'll stay exposed until he moves. <laughs> it's a double whammy there. Um, so does he want to just take the stress and move and get a, a rid of that exposed? No. He'll get rid of the immobilized because he's not going to move and machine gunners how much your how long is your range yeah he's only got a zero to one so he can't shoot either all right so he's going to move up this guy's going to stay back this guy can't go anywhere and he only has a zero to one range so he can't do anything <laughs> great And uh, our our guy here, our Stug, this is an HE attack against this AT gun. So he's going to use it. So that is a 5. Our leaner gives us a plus 1. So that takes it down to 4s. And he's not moving, so no penalty there. But it's a range of two, so it gets a plus one under that. So basically, you can attack adjacently for free, and it's minus one, minus two, minus three. Um, so free minus one. So he is, again, five, four because of the leader, five because of the range. So up, down, back and forth. Here we go. Fives are higher. Hey, roll day two and a one. That is just beautiful. Just freaking beautiful. He can't attack. He couldn't do anything. He moved because he's out of range, and he missed. And we're down to turn number three. Well, let's see how they feel about us advancing on them here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, nope, we're rolling a six-sided dice. Adding one to it. One plus one is two. So, all right, so let's look at this AT gun. The AT gun says, hold. He will hold. He will also shoot. Question is, would he shoot at the rifle squad? Or shoot at this thing? I think he'll shoot at the rifle squad because he's adjacent. So sevens, he won't take any penalties. So seven or higher, he's going to shoot at the rifle squad. He would shoot at this five, but he'd take a range penalty, so it'd take him up to sixes. He could shoot at the Stug, 
which would take them up to sevens. Well, I think he'll just shoot at the closest unit there. Let's, he'll try to hit the rifle squad. A 9 and a 2, well, that'll be a hit. Rifle squad has got a defense of 2. Yes! Blocked it. That is a 2. So no damage. Rifle squad. Rifle. Hold. He can't attack anyone. The AT gun. Yes, he can shoot. He is going to shoot at... Probably trying to get rid of this. It's almost dead. All they need is one more hit on it. It can't move, though. Are they more afraid of this thing coming up? Probably, actually. They're going to shoot at the Stug. Because the Stug is more dangerous. The Stug hits them on a 5. The 251 hits them on... Well, I guess it's equal. It's a 5 and a 5. So... Which is more dangerous? Probably they're both pretty dangerous. So, do you try and take one out? Five plus one for range. He needs sixes. Yeah, he'll go after this. A little bit easier to hit. Two set. Oh, I rolled the damn dice, the black dice for the Frenchies, but two sevens are hits. So he only has a defense of one. We need to block him. One, one. Nope. That's going to be two more draws out of the bag. This is going to get real bad. Probably really bad. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, Hall. That's it. Boom. Hall explodes it. So second Hall destroys the vehicle. And probably the, uh, the commander with it. So that is going to be a burning wreck. Oh, look, I don't have burning wrecks in the bottom of my thing here. How's that? Should we turn it upside down like that, though? <laughs> oh, good shot there by the Frenchie, the AT gun. Hmm. Half track. What are you doing? Half track. Half track. Half track right there. You are on hold. So they're not going to attack. He's only got a range of one, so that's it for them. They did a good job, though. <sighs> well, I think what we're going to do, because we got our cautious leader, with our rifle squad. If we move him up again, he can't attack. Yep, I think we're going to do that, though. And now our machine gunner. Yep, he's going to move up, so he'll get rid of the exposed counter. Shake that up in there. And... Um, I blame it on our, our Stug had a shot at this thing last time. He rolled a two and a one. If he would have destroyed this, he wouldn't have been able to blow up our vehicle there. Yeah, he's going to take a shot at that half track. Or, I'm sorry, the AT gun. Shooting at the AT gun. A two and a two. Wow. Meyer, what are you doing to me, buddy? Hmm. Meyer is killing me. Oof. That's horrible. Horrible shooting. Horrible shooting. That's going to be done with the turn. We go down to turn number two. Two turns left. Frenchies are going to win this. Frenchies are going to win this. I have a feeling. We'll see. It's going to be interesting. Six plus one is seven. Uh, actually, let's count up how many guys they have left. They have two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, ooh, actually, 
Right, when they got to nine, they get a minus two plus one, so they get a minus one, so it actually should have been a five. Okay. So you get a plus one in their tactical roll, but because they're at half strength, they lose two to their roll. So two minus two plus one is a what? Plus minus one, right? Okay. All right. AT gun. Cautious advance. He's not going anywhere. This AT gun is going to try and shoot the guy. Rifles. He needs a seven. No bonus for being in the same hex. You got an eight. Our rifle squad is one to two. Heavy Woods is a plus two. Four. No damage. Rifle squad. Advance to cover. There is no cover. He will shoot. Um... Does he want to shoot this guy or try to protect his AT gun over there? Probably shoot the guy out in the open. All right. So he is, what is he? He's a six. Didn't move, so no penalty. Six or higher. Zero and a three. So that is another hit. Uh, machine gun team is a two defense. Ugh. We've been drawing a lot in the bag. We've been drawing a lot in the bag this today. This is not good. Oh! Look at that. How convenient. No effect. Ha ha ha. Alright. And... So that was the AT gun, that was the rifle squad. The other AT gun, uh, he's going to shoot at the Stug here. He's fives, plus one for range is sixes. Zero, so that is a hit. The Stug is a defense of two. So, another bag. Hey, how you doing, Al? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, my friend. Probably decided to run something a little later to, and see if I can get it to not lag out it. Oh my gosh. And our commander's been wounded. Oh my god. This last week has been really bad. <laughs> oh. Alright, so that was 18 gun. The half track. Advanced to cover. There is no cover. He's not within range, so he won't do anything. Now it's our turn. Rifle squad. Rifle squad. HE attack is six. Plus one for being in the safe. No, plus two for being in the same hex. Takes him down to fours. Plus one for a commander takes him down to threes or higher. Ah, just one hit though. AT gun has got a defense of one. Plus two for the heavy bush. One to three. Booge. Well, the miniatures don't come in the game, Al. All the miniatures, these are mine. I just added those to the game. Uh, you just get, uh, you just get like the little tokens in the normal game, like that. So, all right, our machine gun. What are we gonna do with our machine gun? Are we just gonna leave it out in the open, or is he gonna try and move in? What's he gonna do? What you gonna do when it come for you, bad boy, bad boys? Uh, machine gun, if I try to move them, um, ugh. Yeah, um, uh, I think I will try to, do I want to move them or shoot them? I think we should play it safe, and we're going to move them into the woods right there. That's what we're going to do. Our Stug is going to try another shot at the AT gun. Miniatures are a very nice touch. Oh, thanks, Al. When are you going to run a... I've been waiting for you to run a live stream. I haven't seen one from, from you for a while. What, what's been going on? Uh, so we need... Five, six, five. So we need fives or higher. 
A three and a five. Wow. This is his third attack. He's probably got one hit. Oh, my gosh. AT gun is a one. Plus two for the woods is a three. One to three. He'll block it. Two. He blocked it. That's going to be game. We're not even going to. Yeah. Oh, boy. Half track. Again, he's not going anywhere. That's the end. So we're down to the last turn. Last turn, we have not even even touched any of these guys. Actually, how many do they have left? Two, two, three, four, five. Actually, actually, four destroys them. So we only need to kill one more unit, and we'll destroy the battalion after all. All right. Three minus one is a two. So... Uh, where do we got? Rifle squad. He will hold, but he'll shoot at, uh, the rifle squad. He needs sixes. Eight and a five. You got one hit. Rifle squad's a two, plus two for the heavy woods. One to four, six. Drawing from the Bag of Doom again. Let's see if we're going to die again. Oh, look at that. We drew another no effect. Uh, AT Gun is going to shoot the Stoog. He needs five plus one for the range. His six is. Oh, he rolled a three and a four. The half track's not moving. Okay, well, it's all up to our guys here. Machine gunner, we're going to go right with the machine gunner, right off the bat. See if this machine gunner can take out the rifle squad. Uh, you know what? Might as well hit the AT gun, because it's even squishier. So, rifle squad not moving is sixes. Minus one for the leader, fives. And no range penalty. So fives are higher. Six and a five. So two hits. AT gun is a one plus two for the heavy carver. He needs one to threes to block it. Otherwise, oh, he blocked one, but not the other one. That will destroy it. And that will, we will win this fight. We'll destroy the battalion on the last turn. Uh, Stug, he's going to take a shot at this half track. Just, just because he hasn't hit anything, he might as well try just to see if he can make sure his bullets still work. A four and a five. He needs five. He needs sixes. He needs five. So he did get a hit. The half track's a one, two, three. Three. Yeah, he would have blown it up. So he would have finally killed something, but we did lose our, we lost our vehicle, we lost our commander, and that is that. This is what we lost there. Sudacap 251 and Fiedrich. Oh, Frederick. That is it. Dead with them. They be dead. All right, after battle card. Let's see what our after battle card is. We did destroy the battalion, so that's good. Let's see what happens after the battle. After the battle, pay one SO point to keep this card. Use its battle text during a future battle. The battle text is... Once during the battle, add three to your infantry attack rolls when attacking at range zero. Uh, okay. Not much of a lot of help for us right now, but... Uh, so we got a lot of reporting to do on this battle, unfortunately. Uh... So, Weldman went into the battle with two, uh, and 
he's going to come out of the battle with two. Mm, no, he's going to go up to. He's going to go up to three total. Fetter. In the battle with one, he's going to come out of the battle with three. And Meyer, not that it matters because this is the last week anyways. He's going to come out of the battle with four. And destroyed. Where's our destroyed guys? Uh, here they are. Uh, Fetter in her. Fetter. Cross another one off our list here. So he's like the fourth commander that has died so far. <laughs> All right. Uh, target was destroyed. This was 11A. It was worth three victory points. So it brings us up to 14. 14 victory points. Uh, 13 to 17 is good. So we would need the four pointer, four pointer to get our last fight would have to be a four pointer against, I think it's 2C is the only four pointer. Yep. So we'd have to go up against six tanks, two Amtraks, two rifles and two armored cars and destroy this thing. For a victory, a great victory for the Reich. That's what we're playing for the Reich. So we need 18 victory points. Right now we're sitting at 14. We got one battle left, so the only way we're going to make 18 is get four pointer. Oh boy. Uh, all right, we still need to write out a few things here. So Meyer. Mr. Meyer is wounded. So he got wounded. We had a commander killed, and we had a commander wounded, and we had a vehicle destroyed, and each commander went up in stress. And I think that was it. <laughs> Still a lot of bad things, right? Uh, so week three. So, yeah, one battle left, and let's see our units we have for this battle. So let's see here. We have Schmidt, armor leader, Mueller, our armor leader, Steiner, our infantry leader, Roth, our artillery an Ackerman, our infantry, and they will be using our Stug 3, our AT gun, an anti tank team, our rifle team, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yes, because we lost one of our AT guns, right? So let me start again. Stug 3, anti-tank team, a rifle team. Oh, I drew out the wrong one. One more time. This time I'll <laughs> not get rid of the wrong card. Our Stug 3, our AT gun, rifle team, anti-tank team, and Panzer 3. They will be going up. Those five brave German units are going to go up against a massive, it's the headquarter, where is it, where's the card, it's the headquarter card, here it is, they're going up against the armor headquarter, the only way we can win this is to destroy, or not win it, but get a great result, is destroy the armor headquarter, six, that's right, six tanks, two half tracks, Two rifles, two cars, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. There's 12 units. 12 versus four. They outnumber, uh, no, 12 out of five. 12 versus five. So they outnumber us two to one, but we still got to do it. Still got to do it. It's the last battle we'll have for this campaign. Fall of France, 1940. So 
wanted to get you guys a video where it wasn't laggy and stuttering every two seconds and hopefully everything was sounding good the video was good hopefully guys good lord i really really hope spectrum was supposed to come out tonight everything was running really good and they didn't freaking show up so when they finally called i said you know what don't even come out because it's already too late so don't don't i'm not staying up all night so I decided to run a live stream, and you know what? It was uh, how long have we been going? It's been we've been going. Uh, where are we? An hour and eleven minutes and twenty nine seconds now, right? And we have zero, zero drop packets, zero. So I'm hoping it was smooth, and I apologize because I know. I know some people out there really enjoy the, watching this game, really would like to see how it's played. And when, ah, you know, when the video is freezing every five seconds, I know how frustrating that can be. So I do apologize for that. So that's why I was like, you know what, I'm going to try and get a good video out for those people who came by, who've been watching this and putting up with all that. And I do appreciate it a lot. So I wanted to get a good video out through thick and thin. So. Anyways, guys, thank you very, 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 very. Why did it just go Steam, Steam complete? Huh. Isn't that interesting? I don't know. All right. I will see you all very soon. Take care.